1985, you were at a high school. Were you a music fan? I mean, you were hearing, oh, yeah. like, you just kind of fell into everything. Oh, we didn't hear anything about, like... No, uh, no, I, I love music, and I love radio. I mean, it's it seems so obvious now. Yeah. And I'm, I've become the biggest proponent of gap years because of this. <laughs> When I was, uh, when I was, uh, you know, uh, 16, 17 years old, every Sunday, every Sunday, I would listen to Casey Kasem's top 40. Mm -hmm. Sometimes I'd make a list and like compare, Ooh, who's yeah. the, who's rising with a bullet this week? Yeah. You know, that kind of shit. I was yeah. so nerdy about it. We've, now we've all been I, there. Yeah. I loved yeah. it. I loved everything about it. And, uh, and so, yeah, I would buy records sit with my headphones on and you know uh, big albums lps and and you know double fold and look at the artwork and just soak it all in oh god yeah i i absolutely love music always always have with any local guy i mean everyone always we've talked to everybody and everyone mentions casey but we always like the local guy there usually is like some some guy that uh like radio guy listen. Yeah. yeah, like right. Yeah, when you were in high school, was there, or a station in particular that? You oh loved? well, the the rock station of record in Indianapolis when I was growing up was uh, Q ninety five, uh, and it was right around that time uh, eighty five, I guess, when uh, Bob and Tom started doing mornings mm -hmm. in Indianapolis, and and then they were you know got syndicated and and you know moved uh, to other stations around the country, but uh, yeah, they were by that time they were the ones that that were most popular they ruled in in indianapolis